Hi, it's Miss Gwenda, and I'm going to talk to you about Pentecost. You know, that's when a whole bunch of people got together in one little room, and the Holy Spirit came along, and it's like, whoosh, whoosh, made a lot of rushing noise and wind, and then there were flames of fire on top of people's heads. People were confused. They didn't really know what was going on. And even more confusing was that nobody was speaking the same language. Oh, my goodness. It was also the birth of the church. And we're excited for that. Why? Because we want you to make a hat or a crown. And we want your parents to videotape you reading Acts 2, verses 1 through 4. We're going to put it all together for May 31st. And you'll get to see yourself wearing your fancy crown and reading the Word of God. Okay, we're going to talk about the supplies that you're going to need for this project. Uh, I have a piece of watercolor paper, but you don't necessarily have to use a piece of watercolor paper. You could use a piece of typing paper. You could put it all together. You could use some of your giant manila paper that you le had left over from school. I'm going to use watercolors because watercolors make me happy, and I just really like to work with them. So we have a red, and we have an orange. It's called tangerine, which is kind of fancy, and we have yellow. And I poured each one into these little cups right in front of us here, okay? Now, you see these? Everybody has these laying around the house. And you might use these instead of the fancy. That's probably what you're going to use. And if you don't have that, look here. I have the markers. We can just color and make them real pretty, and it would be fancy. And then after that, we're going to use our pair of really cool scissors. You can just use regular scissors, but you know, hey, mom's got a craft closet. You might as well use it. So pull something out and really go to town and cut it up. Well, we also need paper towel because I'm kind of messy. And a bowl of water and a watercolor brush. You ready to get started? It's going to be great. Now, I'm not a professional, and I don't pretend to be one, but I do know a little bit about watercolors. So what we need to do first, and this is just because I'm using watercolors and watercolor paper, we're going to need to wet the paper, okay? All right, I think that's good. So here's the magic. You ready for the magic? Okay, I'm going to start with orange, which is called tangerine. This is so much fun. Watch what happens. It's like magic. Look at it. It just spreads and makes it go all over the paper. This was pretty fancy today, wasn't it? I just like this. My mom was an artist and I love to watch her paint. I'm not as good as other people, but I sure enjoy this. Now check that out. How does that look? Does that look like fire to you? I think it does. Fire, fire. Pentecost Sunday is a coming, right? Birth of the church, Holy Spirit, flames of tongues over your head and people speaking in different tongues. Look, I got the finished product on right now. Isn't it fancy? I want you to videotape yourself reading the scripture of Acts 2 verses 1 through 4. This is due on May the 25th. Now, here's a very important thing. I want your mom or your dad to videotape you horizontally, not vertically. And it doesn't really matter what version of the Bible that you choose. We just want you to participate in Pentecost Sunday on May the 31st. I'm really excited to see what kind of creativity you come up with. Be you and have fun. Miss Gwenda loves you. See you soon.